Lunar year 2022 is the year of the tiger. And just in 2 weeks into this year, India lost its prestigious mother tiger, Kalawali, aka Mata Ram. And here's my tribute to the legendary tigress that I was and forever will be in love with. The goddess, the epitome of motherhood, the pride, queen, and matriarch of pinch my beloved mataram a tigress like no other mataram came into my life on 5th december 2021 a little over 2 months ago when i came across this image by a then stranger amit pandey on instagram a very unusual one from what i had ever seen of any tiger in the wild for some reason i felt so emotionally drawn to her instantly that i was in tears and all i knew was i had to go see her as soon as i could we were in pinch on 13 jan with the only desire and hope to see her our mataram every other gypsy in the forest was aware that me and amit and his family were in pinch just to see her we waited in her territory for most of our time We saw the tree where she would scratch upon to mark her territory. The entire thirteenth, we didn't get to see her. The next day, on fourteenth morning, the day of Sankranti, a gypsy driver stopped to tell us, "The one and only that we were in pain for is sleeping peacefully near Sita Ghat." That moment, I cannot possibly describe in words how it felt. My dream to see Mataram was about to come true. We reached the Burdat Nala, which was one of our favorite spots, and this is how we saw her. My first time of seeing Mata Ram, and unfortunately, my last one too. I was inconsolable at her sight. At first, it did look like she was sleeping peacefully, in a spot that was tranquil and scenic. As happy and excited we were to be able to find her in her huge territory. Something was just not feeling right. All the initial excitement of taking pictures and selfies with her soon got dampened when after almost 45 minutes Mata Ram had not lifted her head even once. That too in spite of all the chaos of the numerous vehicles around her. Soon after the forest officials pushed all the vehicles out and restricted that area for visitors. When I was taking all these images little did I know that these were going to be my first and last images of her we left with a very heavy heart yet a relief that she was being attended to by dr akhilesh mishra and his team that evening it rained so heavily and the only thought that was bothering me was how would mataram cope up with this weather as she was already very weak and fragile this is how she had walked to that spot that morning before we saw her to have water from the stream the very next day on 15th evening at 6:15 pm my worst fear came true mataram breathed her last she was given a dignified cremation on 16th morning while we were still in the forest The forest officers, locals, guides, drivers all paid their last respects to the empress who made Pinch what it is today. I consider myself blessed that I was able to be there during her last rites. This also made this experience extremely overwhelming and emotional one for me. Something that will be etched in my memory forever. Mataram was born in September 2005 to T7 Badi Mada and T1 Chajo with three other cubs. There's a thrilling documentary by Sir David Attenborough called Tiger Spy in the Jungle that shows her growing up and all the challenges that even top predators face for survival in the wild. 
she was the first one to establish her own territory in her mother's prize range she got her name kolawali after she was radio collared in 2008 by the forest officials to track her movement thus she gave a great opportunity to the field scientists and forest department to study tiger behavior among other aspects through the data collected from her radio collar she was the first one to be collared in pench tiger reserve in may 2008 she delivered her first litter of 3 cubs unfortunately she being an inexperienced mother lost all her cubs to pneumonia in monsoons but from being an inexperienced mother she went on to become the strongest and the greatest mother to ever grace the tiger kingdom rightfully known as super mom she holds a record of giving birth to 29 cubs in record 8 litters across 11 years the last one being in 2019 she also holds a distinguished record of giving birth to 5 cubs in a litter in 2010 What makes her even more special is the fact that she successfully raised 25 out of 29 cubs to adulthood which is a remarkable contribution to the conservation of her species. She was a smart and fierce mother and would make her cubs independent much sooner than any other mother tiger in the wild by giving them a prey rich area in the jungle to establish their own territory. And that's how she has left a prolific legacy behind. contributing to 1% of the total tiger's population in India. She holds another record of being the most photographed tiger in the world. Local guides fondly remember how before Mataram it was very rare to spot tigers in Pench but then she became the star attraction in the reserve as she would often stroll around tourist spots resulting in her frequent sightings she was also known to be very very friendly with the tourist vehicles making her a darling of the visitors guides also mention that she would come to her favorite kacha road as soon as she would hear jeeps approaching as if she wanted people to see and admire her she was so bold that she would get her cubs in the open area where people could see them she was also famous for walking head on putting up a great road show for tourists wildlife enthusiasts and photographers she would walk confidently with a royal swag and poise that people would love and would keep coming back to pench for making pench a hot tourist spot such a regal tiger will never walk in the wild again Mataram is not only responsible in restoring the ecological balance and enriching many landscapes by increasing tiger's population through her bloodline she has also given livelihood to the local guides and forest staff by glorifying pench she has played a huge role in changing the fortune of pench tiger reserve making it number 1 tiger reserve in the country With 526 big cats, Madhya Pradesh emerged as India's tiger state in 2018, which wouldn't have been possible without Mata Ram's remarkable contribution to the number. She was special in many other ways, like she was so huge that often she was mistaken to be a male tiger. Another very unique trait about her, which also showed how intelligent she was. that she would sit in the open calling for attention from humans who cared for her whenever she needed help if she was wounded or ill just the way she did a day before her death she never lost her prime territory to the younger tigers she stayed where she belonged until her death which is another rare feat in the wild she led a glorious life for 16 years and left without any drama 
like the queen she was. Like her life, her death was poetic too. As she chose to be seen one last time for all those who loved her, that too in her most cherished area, Sita Ghat. No gypsy in the forest that day left without her last sighting. I know and accept that one who has come will go. Yet her loss seems so personal and not at all easy to move on with. I just wish I had known about you earlier, Ma. But I also know you are timeless, eternal and immortal. A roar that will echo forever. Until we meet again, rest in peace and in power. I love you, Ma. I just love you so much. <laughs>